I need to science something. Of being necessary, we need an outpost in the abyss, and it will be best if we build it right here, far from the larger demonic settlements, close to an active portal that will allow us to return here at any time. All of your companions that are currently unoccupied should take care of guarding and setting up uh, setting up the camp. Oh well, let's go. Let me tell you something, champion. We are going to Illusioneer, the city of uh, cunning and seduction. As, I, as sad as I am to admit it, we are unlikely to find our enemies. And the, and the Nahindrian crystals they took without the aid of the denizens of this hideous place. If Hemsamira was something, has something to do with all this, we'll need another demon that matches her powers. We will need to find a way to make contact with one of the city's rulers. One at, on that point, uh, we now know that there is a conflict between uh, brewing between Nocticula and Baphomet. I will not welcome it. Well, I will not be welcomed to this dark place, but I have prepared for this. I will cast a spell on myself so that not a single denizen of this plane whose soul is devoted to evil will be able to see or hear me. Invisible, I will follow you and protect you from all dangers and temptations of this place as best as I can. The demons will be unaware of my presence. Now, let us go by the light and the sword. Can you do that on me? <laughs> can you do that on us? That would be that would that would be great. That would be fantastic. Okay. Um. I wonder if I'll be able to... Okay, so we're going to be in a city. I wonder if we can buy some loot. And buy some gear. Judging by the surroundings, these are the slums of Lucian Yura, Nocticula's capital city, the abode of beggars and uh, vagabonds. It is impossible to descend any further except into the waters of the ocean itself, where the bodies of the unfortunate are dumped. Ew. How close are we leveling up? Ooh! Look, another mortal. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting one of Lucianier's guests nowadays. Merchants, travelers, demon, uh, demonologists, every kind have... Okay, well, right. All just strutting around, gawking one of one of approaching me the other day and asked, I'm sorry, I'm lost. Can you please show me the way back to the middle of the city? Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, so I did uh, uh, show him. If you got some nerve, if a guard caught you, they would have torn your head up. Not particularly banned and messing with the guests. Let's continue listening. Yeah, I was this great. Brought him to a nice and cozy back street where no one can hear his scream. Okay, let listen. Splendidly. 
Mm, the abyss is chaos and everything in it is constantly changing in both appearance and nature. Even the architecture of the city is in constant motion. This is the guiding principle of its design. Finding your way around Lucian Europe. In this strange abyssal realm, space itself sometimes behaves in weird, unexpected ways. Moving the camera around might change the location around you, opening new paths. I hated this place when I first hated it, and I hate it, and I hate this place still. <laughs> I understand. I can handle it. I can completely understand. I myself don't necessarily like this place. All too eight. Hey, no, 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 no. Go back. Oh God. trap <laughs> that's hilarious um anyways can't make the demons wait Oh my god, do I hate this? Okay, like trying to find your way through this place to the Battle Bliss Arena. I thought that was Minago there for a second. I was like, maybe, maybe that. A, han a handsome young man with tousled black hair strolls casually toward the demon uh, demon surgeon. Oh, uh, master of stitches, art uh, artist of the scapula, and genius of the surgical pro uh, profession. Tell me, is your heart free? Uh, the young man has a glove puppet on his hand, a dragon made of rag. Uh, with buttons for eyes. He raises it up and begins to ventric mm, ventriloquize uh, loudly. His voice is surprisingly deep. Also, do you have an hour of free time tonight? How about a romant how about a romantic dinner? Uh 
Observe silently. No, I would not say that um, my heart is free. Right now, it contains three copper rods, 200 grams of enchanted quicksilver, and a fair dose of Lamia uh, liver extract. He pauses and gives the young man an appraising glance. But I could give you an hour or two of my time for something other than dinner. Has anyone ever told you that you have beautiful, smooth skin? I happen to be in need of some. The young man deftly steps aside to avoid the demon's outstretched claws. He jots something down in his notebook. A demon of blood spider apron fusely, uh, fusely shoves a few foul-looking chunks of flesh into his apron pockets. His fingers are fitted with horrible steel claws, and you hear the unpleasant sound of metal on metal as he slides them against an another like scissors. Are you one of the gladiators? Do you need a healer? Or are you here because you want to become more powerful? I remember you. You used to fight. He gl he, the demon glances briefly at Arushalai. I remember you. You used to fight here. Always... Be, uh, always... Uh, demanded that I restore your skin to its original, smooth, unblemished state. And you always tried to get a discount or ran away without paying. Well, it looks like it looks to me like you have an entire, entirely new face. It's an almost perfect replica of your old one. But something has changed. Something imperceptible. Who performed such sub uh, subtle artist artistry on you? How much did you pay? Originally glances at you with an enemy. <laughs> enigmatic smile. I really have changed, uh, Stitcher. You cannot begin to fathom the price I have I have had to pay for the transformation, but it happened without the help of a scal uh, scalpel. Who do I need to speak to if I want to fight in the arena? Uh, the Battle Bliss Arena belongs to Lord Eremon uh, uh, Galeth, but Gilderfang will kill you if you try to talk to him. You'd, better to you'd be better off speaking with Eklex. He's the arena steward. Can you make me stronger? Ah, for 30,000 gold, I'll stitch you, uh, stitch you up into something better. Much, much better. I beg you to reconsider. The power he promises is tainted by corruption. Please don't do that. By joining your flesh with the flesh of a creature from the abyss, you allow its corruption to taint you. I've seen them gra uh, grafted the body parts of demons onto mortals just for fun. The mortals could not withstand this wicked corruption, and their souls became evil. I can fix you too. Give me, uh, give, give you new fingers. Would you like that, sweetie? The, okay. The healer's deadly, uh, beady, beady little eyes glisten, and you hear. The, he looks at Ember's and says that. Ha <laughs> ha. Ember shakes her head with an embarrassed smile. You are so kind and caring, but no, thank you. I don't need new fingers. You should st uh, stitch them into someone else. Please, will you give them to someone who really needs them? Are you sure? All right, fine, fine. Mr. Mad Scientist, sir, let me offer myself up as a subject for your experimentation. Feel free to carve me up and stitch me back together as you see fit. Whoa, please don't do this. Don't let them defile your beauty and corrupt your pure soul. <laughs> no! I know, right? Good thing I saved, I think. Spray vault. No, back up. Back. Uh, no deal. Make Ninio stronger. <laughs> A shame. You could have made him magnificent. Ah, never mind, though. Who are you? I am the most important person in the battle. Uh, battle, battle bliss. I am a healer, or as they call me, a stitcher. They drag these, those poor uh, bleeding pools from the arena so I can stitch them back together piece by piece. And I do mean that quite literally, since most of them are in pieces by the time they get to me. At first, I simply reattached the severed uh, limbs of wounded fighters. Now, however, my methods are far more interesting. Someone from Nocticula's inner uh, circle taught me the secret of craft uh, grafting flesh. By combining the flesh of different gladiators, I create the strongest, craftiest, most talented fighters. Oh, yes. In these chambers, invincible gladiators are born. I am so close to achieving perfection. Soon, my methods will produce better results than, uh, than the Hedrian crystals. Hey, mm, this is not healing. It's some heinous mockery of it. A healer should restore a body to its natural and, health, natural and healthy state of, 
state instead of turning it into something disgusting. He does the best he can to help his patients. Here in the Abyss, nothing can be done without pain, suffering, and violence. But he still helps others, even if his methods are cruel. His work saves lives. These fighters would die without him. Isn't that better than not, not helping them at all? She actually has a point. Ember with the Ember with, Ember with the crazy words has a point. Anyways, uh, Nahidrian crystals. Uh, crystals are something of a legend here in Illusioneer. Almost no one knows what they actually are or how to get their hands on them. It all started with a few demons here in the city. These demons suddenly became very powerful uh, in a short period of time. The transformation happened almost overnight. I can use the help of a healer. Uh, cast a cantrip or a first level spell that deals one uh, per one additional die per die roll. Dark Omen. With the wearer of this ring has the ability to cast spells spontaneously. Grants them the ability to cast the following spells. Ray of Enfeeble and Scare. Mm, Ray of Exhaustion Fear and Waves of Fatigue. Cast the spell. The wearer still needs to have a spell slot of the required level. Oh. Oh. Yes, we need those. Thank you. Ooh, spicy pastry. I'll take. I'll take that. Oh, bag of holding. Boop. Wow. Um. Uh. Hey, want some? You want some money? I would like some money. Here, take it. Take it. Take it. Uh, I'll hold on to that. You can have that. And deal. Pers okay, time to science. Pay 30,000. Make Nino stronger. And please, follow me. You will drown in an ocean of pain, but you'll emerge from it renewed. To your surprise, the surgery takes place in complete silence. When Nidinu returns, she looks distant and emotionless. How do you feel? Fine, I think. When the mad scientist uh, claws dug into me, I blocked out the pain. Actually, I forgot the pain even existed. If I'm completely honest, I even forgot that it was part of an experience. Such an awkward situation. Maybe I should do it again. Oh no, that's not for you. Your body already bears the mark of my genius. I've already painted on this, painted on this canvas. Don't tell me I just wasted 30,000 gold on a, fa a failed experiment. Science requires sacrifice. When something re uh, something uh, results in failure, it often <laughs> leads to progress and prosperity in the end. I hope that was worth the cost. I presume it was. It's hard to say for sure because I don't remember anything. Still, I hope that in the near future, I will observe the effects of this surgical intervention so that I can write an article about the it for the encyclopedia. I would be disappointed if the experiment failed due to the forgetfulness of its subject. Uh, demonic augmented organs grant the wearer plus two natural armor enhancement <laughs> bonus to armor class, plus two inherent bonus checks made to overcome spell resistance, concentration checks, DC, attack damage rolls, and all saving throws. However, when your HP falls below 20%, you enter a frenzy and attack the nearest creature until you die or uh, die oh, and die or combat ends. Bonus to checks made to overcome spell resistance. Huh. Um. It's almost like 30 health right there. Um. Better hope Ninio and I never gets hit. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, but, uh... I 
I wonder if that's I wonder if that's actually worth it. Do you guys think that's worth it? Thirty thousand gold for this. Inherent bonus to checks made to overcome spell resistance, concentration checks, DC, attack, damage rolls, and all saving throws. However, when your HP falls below 20%. Hmm. Oh, thank you for the, you're not a healer, you're a butcher. Oh, thank you for the compliment. I am indeed quite proficient with an axe. I mean, eh? Yeah. 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 By the way, I did get a... The Conquest of Lucianera. Become famous and get Nocticula's attention. The art of making friends, learn more about uh, Lucianera's leaders, walking on corpses. Huh. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that. Anyways, um... He did say something about us. Hold on. Well, you're undead. Just seduce all the succubi and be famous real quick. I know! Right? Anyways, I gotta find that, uh... Oh, right here. Uh... We'll, we'll kill you if we try to talk to him. You better be off... Oh, is that Zeklik? Like, okay. Anyways, a stern but tired-looking tiefling observes you politely. His clothes look expensive but tasteful. He's carrying a large bag, and every once in a while, it moves and twitches as if something's in, uh, something is inside. Welcome to the Battle of this Arena. My name is Zeklex. Uh, I'm the arena steward. Ermengla uh, uh, Galath is the master of the arena, but I help him manage its affairs. If you look like you're new here. Did, did you come to spectate the fights or participate in them? Looks you up and down with the calm professionalism of a person doing an unpleasant job with diligence. During fights in the Abed of List, prayers and curses are uttered in equal measure, both on the battlefield itself and in the stands. Perhaps you'll be the one who shifts the balance toward, toward prayer. Ermengeleth. I remember a demon called Ermengeleth. It was a vile, cunning murder. He had a way with words that was just as deadly as his skill in battle. There's a rustling sound from within the tiefling's bag, and an imp peeks his head out to look at you. He has large, drooping ears and stares at you with his huge, unblinking eyes. Then, as if suddenly shy, he darts back into the bag. I'd like to talk to Ermengleth. Pokes his head out of the bag and surprise, you seem to have aroused his curiosity. His sad, drooping ears perk up with excitement as he stares at you with his big, round eyes. You wish to speak th with Ermengleth? I'm afraid that's impossible. Never he never communicates with anyone except his most trusted aides, and Geld um, Gelderfang is under strict orders to kill anyone who tries to talk to his master without permission. Ah. I'd like to know more about you. Uh, you see, you see, Crow? 
This is why we've worked so hard to climb the ranks. We wanted to be important. Now look, the stranger wants to know all about us. I guess that means we're finally a big deal. Who are you? I'm the arena steward. My position is prestigious, but my success is hard earned. My life has not been easy. I grew up on the streets of Illusioniera. I was a street urchin, an orphan. I'm the result of an act of violence committed against a helpless slave woman. I've always been weak. I've always been surrounded by those who are bitter, bitter, bigger and stronger than me. All my life, I have I have had to rely on my wits to survive. Hold on. I'm the result of an act of violence committed against a helpless... Oh, okay. Uh. Um, uh, on, on, out on the streets, I, I scrounged, I scrounged around for food and tried to avoid becoming someone else's snack. Fortunately, I had someone to look out for. Uh, I had someone to look out for me. Tiefling takes a small piece of dried meat and holds it close to the bag. Quick as a flash, a scrawny paw darts from the bag and snatches up the meat. Crow has been my companion for a long time. He is also my partner in business. Together, we saved up our money one coin at a time. We made allies and sought out opportunities for advancement. We've worked hard to climb the ranks of society. In the beginning, our goals were simple. Never starve again. Never live in poverty again. And never fear for our lives again. Trust me, those goals aren't easy to accomplish here in the abyss. You have to be very influential in this city to achieve any of those things. But we've managed to make our goals a reality. In fact, we've been doing quite well for ourselves here in Lucianera. What's your role here? Uh, Ermengoleth is, is an artist, not a clerk. That's why I have so many responsibilities. I search for new fighters, make the fighters' charts, uh, or, and arrange the fights so that the opponents are evenly matched. And of course, I organize all of the matches. Unfortunately, my master has a habit of interfering with my work. He's been very involved lately, and as, as a result, the fights have been terrible. Uh, the combat turns into meaningless carnage. Hmm, there's no skill, no strategy involved, and of course, no one wants to place bets on fights like that. Everyone already knows who's going to win. They aren't even fights anymore. They're just public executions. That's also a form of entertainment, of course, but it's not what our audience wants. Don't look like you're, you belonged in the abyss. Uh, the imp peeks out of the bag, and the tiefling grins as he pats his companion's tiny little head. That's because I like to stay organized. When I was uh, growing up, I made mental lists of all my possessions, my money, my enemies, and allies, my schedule, uh, and my goals. I was weaker than everyone else, and these mental calculations helped me survive. It was the only advantage I had, the only way that I could gain the upper hand and keep lists. Uh, and keeping lists became a habit. I found that it, be that it disciplines the mind. It keeps my thoughts organized. I am an accountant by nature, and my ability to bring order to a place where chaos reigns has turned out to be profitable skill. Who's that imp uh, hiding in your bag? The tiefling smiles a little at a, as a little creature peeks curiously out of the bag. It has big droopy... Okay, uh, this is Crow. He's my business partner. He also happens to be my familiar. I have no idea how he wound, it, wound up in the abyss, but he's not... He's not had an easy time of it either. If our paths hadn't crossed, we'd both be dead by now. He's probably the only one I'd truly trust. The imp fidgets beneath your gaze and finally darts back into the bag. It is odd to see an imp, an infernal creature, here in the abyss. The fundamentally chaotic energy of this place must be repugnant to a creature born of the plane of order and evil. The Nine Hells. Your imp is an infernal creature. How has he managed to survive here in the abyss? Uh, Zeklex looks at you with respect. It's nice to meet a person who knows the difference between an imp and a closet. Yes, Crow is a devil, though a lesser one. I have no idea how he ended up here, but at the time we had met, he was extremely unwell. Staying in the abyss is not much easier for him than staying underwater would be for a mortal. So that's how I spent the first real money. The money I managed to earn here on this fine stolen to mm, stolen to order bag. It's had magic symbols sewn inside it that make it it make its interior bearable for crow. Oh, and no more questions. I want to know more about the battle list. Uh, what would you like to know? The arena's operations are simple. It's functions like a pyramid. The spectators are all at the lowest level. Uh, regular gliders are on the next tier, followed by the members of the Nahindran League. The champion towers above them all, and the masters of the arena stands on his shoulders like an omnipotent god. Huh. 
Tell me more about what happened to the arena. Battle Bliss is a gladiatorial arena. You must understand, fights are a big deal in Lucianera. They are the city's primary source of gossip and, gossip and entertainment, but they are much more than that. These gladiators' matches uh, serve as a kind of ritual, a daily offering to the demonic way of life. And these daily, uh, and these daily offerings, uh, these rituals are performed at the Battle of Bliss. In a way, it's more of a temple than an arena. And the arena is the only reason the city is still standing. Without the Battle of Bliss, the demons would have brought uh, brought Illusionaires to ruins long ago. But instead of tearing down the city with their rage and their desire for slaughter, they come here to quench their thirst for blood. You see, the arena gives out, uh, gives them a sort of release that allows them to satiate their lust for violence. Who runs this place? His name is Ermengleth. 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 You know what? Screw it. His name is Ermengleth. He's a Cambian. Oh. He was born in the abyss as the offspring of an incubus and a mortal woman. In incubi are naturally persuasive, but Ermengrud's father was especially killed at using, skilled at using his words to manipulate and control. Well, his son inherited his silver tongue. His ability, ability to influence a crowd is unmatched. With just the sound of his voice, he can instantly instigate a riot or make a screaming group of demons fall silent and listen to his every word. When he warms up the audience, the spectators are ready to jump into the arena and fight the gladiators themselves. 